Hi, I'm Neil Pendleton, and you're watching Tracking 200. On this episode, you're going to see the story of the high-low buck. Well, here we are, driving out. We got snow, and I'm um, headed up to the mountains. No sense in getting started before daylight, so here I go. Good morning. How's it going? See any deer? Where are the big bucks? Up here? Thank you. Opening day of muzzle loader 2021. We're gonna go up in these mountains over here and we are gonna make something happen. There's a big buck out there behind me. And yeah, we're gonna go find him. We got a moon, I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, there's the moon. Look at that, quarter moon. Let's go make something happen. All right, I'm on the track going right now. This is smoking fresh. Whatever's at the end of this is probably getting shot. Shot fired. I don't want to walk over yet. Yeah, what am in arms, by the way? Whew, baby, yeah. So I made my way up from down below. I cut this track a long ways back. I don't know, it's probably been a couple miles, probably. I cut this track and uh, I cut the track and he went all the way down along the bottom. Um, and then he started feeding down here. He just he kind of meandered along. Once I saw his feeding, I knew he was going to bed at some point. He started making his way up through here. I peeled off him a couple of times, just a little bit, to try to get a different angle. I knew he was going to be bedded. I got up, and I was right, literally, right here. I could look over, and I could see him bedded down, right up ahead. Um, and where I could see him bedded, up there, I had him in the scope, but I'm looking through all this whip stuff. So at that point, I decided to try to go ahead and get a little bit closer. So I eased up here. I put the gun up on this. And at that point, I could see him, just his horn sticking up and his neck out of the bed. And I was going to put it right on his neck with all this whip stuff in the way. I didn't dare take the shot. I cranked it up on 9 power. And then I had a 9 power look at him. That's when he stood up. And that's when I shot. So we're going to walk over and we're going to take a look. And I hope like hell I hit him.
Yeah. Wait a second. Way up there. Looks like you win some, you lose some. I think I figured out what happened. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Giant big woods buck getting out of a bed and womp womp womp. I am just heartbroken. yesterday. It's a nice buck, so I'm following it along. Snow is kind of crunchy. Um, it's on the verge of like powdery slash crunchy. I don't think there's any sneaking up on him. Um, I got into another buck track and I'm debating about following the other buck because he's going back the direction of the one that I shot at on Monday and there was a lot more deer tracks that way. I don't know it's this way. Um, so, yeah. Big woods. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to sort this out and keep heading on the track from yesterday. Hopefully I come into something fresh. But, it's a good one. Hopefully I can find it where he bedded. It's going to be hard to get on to him today with this crunch, but we're going to see what happens. He's literally walking right in the same path. There was a moose that came through afterwards, but we headed the same exact direction as that buck did on Monday, so we'll see what happens. Well, I'm still on him, and we're at a huge lookout point. I'm going to sit here for a minute and see if anything's creeping down below. Before I keep on him, the sun's going to come out and hopefully the wind picks up. If the wind picks up, that'll really help things a lot, because I'm on him. I just need some cover. Well, I'm following the buck and he made a scrape here this morning. Or last night, actually. I think I'm getting closer to him now. I'm waiting to see if he's gonna bed down. There was a lot of beds right back in behind where I just was. And I followed the nice buck track up through here the other day. The wind's still in my favor. I don't see how I'd sneak up on him in his bed, though. But pretty cool. Hopefully he has good horns. Shot fired. Buck on the ground. Main 2021 muzzle loader. I just did it. I was tracking up on him. Let's go, let's go walk up on him. He was still alive just a second ago. He just dropped him right over here. Uh. Got it done. Last day of muzzle loader. Oh man, I am pumped. I am pumped. Oh, yes, thank you. I don't even know what to say right now. I am pumped. Thank you for the in-laws for the hat. I've worn it every day all week long. Silly thing. Last day, crunchy snow. I can't even believe it. I just made this happen. Oh, this is unreal. Woodman Harm gets the job done. Big buck down. Oh, I am pumped. <laughs> I did it. Oh, beautiful buck. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Whew. Look at the neck on this thing. Unreal. Oh, he's a beast. All right, well, it's time to get him out of here. I just noticed something, though, in his rack. That brow tine right there. It looks like it just got broke off. He had a brow. Well, I don't think I'm finding that. Let me come back in spring and hunt around. All right, well, time to get him out of here. All right, buddy, let's go for a ride. And away we go. It's all downhill.
All right, everybody, I am back from Maine with the High Low Buck, 211 pounds, the Maine Bruiser. And I'm here at the Brookline Cutting Barn in Brookline, New Hampshire. And I am with Doug Delaney and Eric Staplefield. Uh, looking forward to getting this buck butchered up, putting him on the table and eating him later on this year, and getting him caped out and putting him on the walls. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you want to follow more of my adventures, you can look me up, Neil Pendleton. Uh, I'm a Big Woods Bucks team member, so you can look for my articles there and some videos, uh, as well as I just started a company recently with my friend Jake Trickett called The Next One. Uh, the Next One is about helping hunters. We do consulting and advising. So if you're looking for some help, uh, if you want to set goals going into next season, um, get help with scouting in the off season, you can go to the next one us you can check us out on instagram and facebook as well as on our youtube channel well i hope you enjoyed watching thanks